Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about using a trailing stop with trading the indicators. So in my previous indicator, I've added the fixed take profit, but I thought about using a trading stop so we can catch over most of the moves when there are breakouts. So I'm going to be covering all of that in this video. And if you like this content, please make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. So without wasting any more time, let's get into this video. For those of you who don't know what a trading stop is, basically it's like a stop loss but it moves with price. So let's say you have your entry and you also have your take profit. Now if you use a trading stop, you don't need a take profit because that trading stop is going to be your take profit. So what happens is you have your entry and price moves past your ta uh, trading stop which is basically your activation price and then it's going to trail by a certain percent and usually you set that. So what would happen is every time the price goes up, you also have your trading stop that's following and let's say it dumps that certain percent that you said that your gap it would then exit you but this allows you to move with price so let's say there's a breakout and you know there's like a, a three or four percent move your trading stop would be uh, moving up with price so this helps you to catch that bigger percentage moves and not just where you normally had a fixed take profit you would have been out at a set percentage and then you'd basically not be in that trade anymore so the goal of this is to catch more of the breakouts so we can actually have a better percentage return on our trades. So right here you can see this is the indicator that I've added the trading stop on. So recently I've released the, the crawl pump and dump indicator and if you want to have access to all of my indicators there's around 22 of them just join the discord and it is currently at 50% discount for only $100 to get access to all of this the full discord and as well uh, the trading board and all that. So if you go into your settings you can just go and uh, let me just turn off the statistics because it's just going to take up space and now you can see that on the short we had a fixed take profit. So this green line represents the fixed take profit that we had set. But you can see that price basically went down a lot more. Now by using the trailing uh, stop, if I just go into my settings and I go and activate this and set it to yes, it would now use my first take profit as my trigger price for my trading stop. So you can see right here, as soon as I take profit hit, the trading stop activated and you can see the gap between but as price moved down, you can also see that the trailing stop, which is the other red line, is also moving down with the price. And as soon as we saw a candle that break through that trailing stop, we took profit. But normally we would only have received the profit gap from, uh, let's say, this short till right here. So my take profit was set on 0.5%. You can set it to what you want. But normally on this a trade, we would have taken, let's say, at 0.5%. But by using that trading stop, we actually got around 2% uh, more. So that would have given you like 2.5%. So you understand now why it's better to use a trading stop because we still have our fixed uh, stop loss, which is going to protect us. But by using that trading stop, we are actually taking like, you know, four times the original size of our positions. And sometimes it might happen that price moves in like 10% direction and then you can take almost that entire pump or, or dump. So you can also change the size of uh, how, mu um, how much percentage you want to trail with. So by default, I've just set it an indicator to 1%. But if you want to make it less or more, you can just adjust this. And what would, uh, this basically means it is going to give a bigger breathe room if price moves up and down. So that means that let's say price is moving sideways and you don't want to get uh, stopped out because you think that we are maybe going to go down further, you can then just go and make that gap bigger. So let's just take a look at this long right here. So we had a long and this is our original uh, take profit which triggered the trailing stop. But as you can see, price just turned around and then it got stopped out. This sometimes happened, but you're still in profit. And you know, if you had a bigger gap, so I'm just gonna, let's say we make like a 2% gap. So you obviously need to work with this with a strategy. You can't just go and put in numbers. But as that example, I have a bigger gap and now you can see that I only got stopped out right here. So if I uh, enable my measure and we can see the movement, you can see that's also another 2.7% that I've added. But I didn't get this when I had a closed gap. 
so there's two ways you can look at uh, with this either you're gonna take the, the the bigger runs on the long term or you can just you know nick off the little uh, short scalping percentages but again that's all up to you i'm not a financial advisor and i'm not giving you like which strategy you should use you can use this to implement it with your strategy and then you can make more of your trades here we can see example of an open trade so as you can see we had our long and then we had our green take profit that has been broken right here and then we have the red trail uh, line as following so you can see as price is going upwards this red line is basically trailing with it so currently if we use this measure tool we can see that we have locked in around 4.8 percent and that's without our initial take profit of 0.5 so we've locked in over five percent of this profit already and if price goes up further this line would just continue to follow or if prices break this line then we'd be out of our trade so this is just an example of how it is working and it will be the opposite for shorts right here we can see this is for a short example so we uh, enter the short right here and then our, when our take profit was triggered then we can see the trading stop started and as price dumped we can see the trading stop move with it so right here we didn't really break uh, we went sideways we didn't break another level for it to move the trading stop so you can see it's moving sideways right here we dumped a bit and you can see the trading stop also moved down a, a small bit but as soon as price uh, broke that level you can see we had our a flag or also our alert and then we can see that the short trading stop has been hit everything that you see on the chart you can set alerts on because I want to make it compatible with our trading board and currently we have over 150 signups for the trading board so I just want to say uh, thank you guys for supporting me because comparing that with my subscriber count uh, that's a lot of uh, active people so I just want to say thank you and uh, if you want free signals in the discord I have set up one of the indicators to basically send entries and exits and uh, I, I haven't updated really yet because I got a bit busy with other things but I will be adding more pairs and if you have suggestions and you want me to add a certain pair just go into the random chat and you can just type in there and then I will uh, try to add it and someone actually gave feedback on the signals and they are saying that they are spot on I personally haven't traded on them yet like I've mentioned I'm a bit busy but it's, it's great to hear that they are working and if they're really useful I will expand on the pairs so thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.